imagine your 90 year old grandmother designing your cell phone. What buttons would it have? What, what buttons would she take away? Would it have apps different than you needed? Would it be big or small? Well, suffice it to say, it wouldn't be the cell phone that you want. And it wouldn't be a flawed cell phone, it just would be a cell phone made for somebody else uh, from a different point of view, from your grandma's worldview. But what if she really tried to see things from another person's point of view? Walk a mile in their shoes, as the saying goes. Well, that is the act of empathy. Imagine this. You go to buy a phone for your own 90-year-old grandmother. Would you even know where to start? What to buy? No, you would have to talk to her to really understand her so that you could get her the right phone that would fit her needs. Now that's the power of empathy. And don't just take it from me. Businesses all over use understanding their customer from an empathetic point to make good decisions. It's actually a system that's out of Stanford where hundreds, thousands of companies worldwide use it to listen to their customers and then to create some amazing and innovative things. So the next time somebody shares a problem, instead of jumping to a solution, stop and listen. Listen, not to respond, but to understand. You see, that is what? Empathy, you're right, I heard you. And that is, as you said, one of the most essential skills that we all should grow in.